too early to have your shoes hurt. It's, too, it's always too early to wear high heels. Correct. Especially at 9 a.m. Correct. But you, I, I but the, you do my, what you have to do. My feet have the lifespan of 10 minutes in high heels. And I just tough it out for the rest of the time. Because you're a professional. Right. You, you men have no idea how easy you have it. Look how comfy <laughs> these shoes are. I know. Well, I the wish. camera can't see, but I'm wearing very, very comfortable shoes. So listen, we're, we're gathering Taryn stories because Taryn couldn't be here today. We're very bummed about that. Yes. So do you have a good Taryn story for us? Either I, in ring or out of the ring. We don't care. Yeah. Oh, Taryn's a trip. I love Taryn. <laughs> you know, we've only wrestled once. Really? We wrestled one, I think it was one time on one of those one-off, one-night-only knockouts, pay-per-views or something like that. Right. And it was when Impact filmed two pay-per-views in a day and we had to wrestle at like 11 in the morning, which we were not, we were not about that at all. And uh, yeah, it was really fun because we were like, how have we never, we've been working together for like two years, we've never wrestled each other. Right. But I always remember her match with Gail where they did the the cutter off the stage onto the floor. And I I'm just like, talked to Gail about and it. And I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> My body rattled watching them do that. You know why it's so good? It's funny. I was just, Gail got goosebumps just bringing it up. Talk like for real. Yeah. Because it's like, it's like there's moments we, we all love we all love wrestling for the high flying action and the unpredictability, but sometimes you just don't think, and you don't think Taryn's gonna do that. Well, They're like messing around with each other. Next thing you know, he, she just goes for it, and you're just like, what the fuck just I've, happened? I've seen her get hit by a car. <laughs> so, Legit car or wrestling? Yes, doing stunt stuff. Oh, okay. Yes, like went flying upside down, looked like a fake body, got a concussion. It was insane. So I actually had to do. So they did the first last knockout standing match. I had to do the second last knockout standing match with Gail months later. So I was like, how the, how the fuck am I going to top that? How are you going to top do, that? I'm not doing a cutter off the ramp onto the floor. Right. But me and Gail did stuff, and I couldn't walk for like five weeks after. I couldn't sit down because I busted my tailbone so bad. So thanks, Taryn, for making the bar so high in the beginning. Who, who, who won that one? Gail. God damn it. That yep. Gail. I was just laying there like, oh, my God. She's a seven-time champ, that Gail. Me too. You're a seven-time champ as yes, well? Yes, sir. Seven? Yes, sir. Well, then you guys, I think you guys need to duke it the fuck out. You know, me and Gail train together. I did not know that. Yes, we've known each other since I was probably 18. Are you from Canada? Yes, Toronto. Yeah. We All train together. All you guys. Yes, All you sweet. Hey, oh, we just talked tell? to Chelsea also, Canada. Yeah, I know. Canada. Toronto we, we or Toronto? Toronto. Not Toronto? Toronto. <laughs> don't, you, don't usually pronounce the last T. Right. It's, and we say sorry... You say out, sorry a lot. Out and about. So when you were on camera, were they like, hey, don't, you got to not do that? With the, What, with the accent? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Because, like, we sound relatively normal except for a couple words. Right. So for me, when I do promos, which is, like, my thing, I love doing promos and talking on the microphone and stuff, I love to accentuate words and draw things out so that fans can really understand. So, like, one time I said something and I was like, sorry. And, like, everybody in the back, when I came back, they were like, that was so Canadian, the way you said that. And I'm like, I don't know, I just fell out. I don't know. Been here for I don't know how many hours already, and I'm still trying to wake up. So. Right. You've got some delicious, looks like, kettle potato chips. Yes, my child is back here. Oh. So I had to have all the snacks and all the things. So. Let's talk about snacks. Yep. So how many kids do you have? I have one. Okay. I have a six-year-old son. Okay. I would love to have another. We'll see. Two would be great. There's somebody behind us yeah, trying to... What's it like? <laughs> like to try, to what's it like when somebody that like needs attention all the time? Well, you know, kind of like a child, kind of like been a six-year-old. Fifteen years, I'm used to it. What are you up to these days when you're not, you know, signing things and? Well, momming it. Right, momming it. But yeah, like I don't have, I don't have like the craziest schedule, but I like that. So I was working for Ring of Honor. I was getting salary monthly. So. We like that. Yeah, so even if we didn't have a show that month, I was still getting my monthly salary so I could just be a mom at home. Nice. So it was great. But, I mean, like, I have my own website, and it's it's a good balance now. Ring of Honor got bought by AEW. Correct. Everybody kind of got thrown into the air. So it's kind of like one of those what's next things. But, like, everything is, like, covered, so it's good. So are they picking up your contract or no? They didn't pick up anybody's contracts. We all got we all got released in October of last year. We didn't know about the AEW thing until it was announced. What do you think they should do with it? What should Tony do with Ring of Honor? I don't know. Um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, he's, he would know better than me. 
<laughs> he's pretty pretty good businessman. Um, I don't know, but I. I look forward to seeing, I hope he does bring in a lot of Ring of Honor guys so it has that nostalgia, you know, and then I'm sure he's going to have AEW guys go into it too. I have no clue. It could be a complete surprise what he does with it. Yeah, so I was talking to somebody yesterday and he was like, oh, he, he wanted the library, right? Like all the old stuff. That's well, an amazing library. Right. Yeah. But I feel like, yes, that's that's a piece of it but if you're gonna if you're gonna grow it feels like, well, if you, if you treated it like they used to treat NXT, don't you think that would be maybe the right move? Like, make it, like, the little, like, developmental? I don't think Ring of Honor should be made into a developmental. Because it's been its own entity for so long. I feel like that would be, like, demoting it, you know? Yeah, I guess that's the wrong word. But if you think, well, eh, I mean, we know A and... It's got to be, it'll end up a being, a it'll w be a secondary something. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. because we know AEW has the bigger platform, so it's a way to... Right, because they have everybody says they like they have too much talent anyway, and that right. it's a way to like. Don't yeah. the wrong word. Yeah, no, but I see. No, but I, I do feel like it'll be some kind of a, a a good secondary AEW show. I just don't know. Right. Like what they would have in store for it. Right. But it'll be interesting to see because I also didn't know Tony was going to buy it. So. <laughs> Apparently nobody did. Yeah, but I hear he's great. Like I have always heard wonderful things about Tony. So and like I said, him and his family and. They obviously know what they're doing business-wise, so it'll be very interesting to see. When you're traveling, what is your go-to order at the Waffle House? Oh, I only get one plate ever from the Waffle House. Which is? Um, the scrambled eggs with cheese, grits, and the cinnamon raisin toast with apple butter. When you're in Canada, yeah. what's the go-to order at Timmy's? Gosh, okay, so I've been gone from there for a while. Um, but it was uh, like medium double-double. You know how it goes. Are you? Or they had really good like cafe mochas do you, too. Do you have dual? Do you have dual citizenship? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like well, I'm a legal permanent resident here, right. but I still have Canadian citizenship. Do you vote? I cannot vote. Can you travel freely with or without COVID shots? No. <laughs> <laughs> she had to think about that when you're like, I don't know. I'm like, I should be able to travel freely, but I don't have COVID shots, so probably not. Okay. Well, if you ever want to go back. I know. I can literally, like, my... You better let them put that microchip in you. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, it's crazy because literally... They put one in we me. Look at my eyes. Look what happened to me. I know. It's crazy. You do look like a machine. Well, listen, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much. Taryn, We're, we miss you here, but I'll you. see you soon. We're about to hit the big noon break. Yes. Tell people where to find you. I'll link your stuff. Okay, wonderful. Um, Twitter at actual a love, Instagram. I'd probably have to write it down for you. A love the number four life two two two. You know why you don't have to write it down for me? Do you have a wonderful microchip memory? Because it's being recorded right now. Okay, well you'll have to go back <laughs> and listen to it again. And the microchip in my brain. Microchip, yeah, because right. you are a five G. You're a five G robot. Now. That's a lot of letter letters. Were I all know. the good ones taken? No, I just. I don't, I hate it. I wish I could change it. I don't know if I can. You probably can. We could talk later. And then I have a website, um, exclusive content, angelinaforever.com. Is it forever? Or no, is it no, for I'm not that cool. It's forever. So give me your Instagram one more time because I think we can fix it. You so, can so change Angelina it. Angelina Love, right? So A Love. Right. The number four. Right. Life. So Angelina Love for Life, right? Okay. I think and we then 222 is my favorite number. I have it. Tattooed. Why is why is that your favorite number? If you research it, it's a it's a very wonderful angel number. So you know the triple numbers seven 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 four four. But they all have meanings. So two 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 is just a really positive number. Everything always works out. Light and positivity. Um, just I, that was always a thing that I went to, like with any difficult time in life, reading about something like that. And it's just always like things always work out in the end. It's all good stuff. So. Are you yeah. a Derek Jeter fan? I mean, I wouldn't consider myself a Derek Jeter fan, but we did meet him backstage at Impact one time. Do you know what number he wears? Two. Yeah, okay, we'll see. I was making sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Yankees. Derek Jeter. Yeah, he's a gorgeous man. That's probably why I remember. <laughs> he is He is gorgeous. Me and Velvet both met him. Like, back in 2008, when we were filming Impact at Universal Studios, he was doing, like, a some commercial in another studio. Right. And we heard he was there, so we go running in, like, where's Derek Jeter? And then he came over... Right when the show was ending, he came backstage at Impact, and a bunch of us got pictures with him. All right. So it's cool, yeah. All right, well, listen, I'm going to put all those things below, and then we're going to work on see if we can make you maybe an easier one. I hate saying it now. When I first came up with it, I was like, this is creative, and now I'm like, it's too long. All right, good talk. Good talk. See you later.